I think that's one of the reasons he's kept talking to me is I'm not somebody that's impressed by someone's money. Um, no, ma'am. He targeted you because you most likely be impressed with the celebrity status and the money. It is happening again. What do you know? We have another one. A celebrity contacted a random person through social media to express their love for them and, you know, ask for money. But I saw something different. She has been picking her partners in all the wrong places and paying the price for it. And this story is no exception. You want to know what bothers me, so you want to talk, let's talk, okay? Tamara is a divorced mom of three who works in security and is, in her words, a huge conspiracy theorist. What is my problem? Honestly, that character trait was missing in this story. She was married to her ex-husband for 17 years, but those were no happy days. The husband was physically abusive towards her, so much so that he went to prison for it. Once out, they remained together, but still, the violence persisted. It's unknown who pulled the plug on the marriage, but glad it happened. My parents still didn't like him in the beginning and I I didn't see what they saw. Now that I look back, I don't know what I was thinking. This is so important. Parents know they can smell danger, but the vast majority of times we tend to follow our hearts instead of listening to the valuable advice. A couple of weeks after the divorce was finalized, Tammy got very sick. She spent her Christmas day hospitalized. To pass the time, she went to TikTok and that's where she encountered someone she knew very well. Liked on a video that Darius Rucker had on his page and I got a message. That's very suspicious from the get-go. Darius Rucker is a famous musician better known to be in Hoodie and the Blowfish Band. The guy's a celebrity. I don't know how big though. If you are into country music, let me know. But yeah, a celebrity contacting you out of the blue? I will say slim to none, but let's face it, it's none. Tammy is a huge fan of Darius. She follows him on Facebook. I assume she's active over there. So probably someone got an eye on Tammy and followed her all the way to TikTok. He thanked me for being a fan of his. And then he said he would like to talk to me further to get to know me better. So let's get in Tammy's mindset for just a minute. She was fresh out of a horrible 17-year marriage filled with violence, and then she got sick. It's not specify what happened to her, but she spent a significant amount of time at the hospital, so she was probably feeling alone and in need for someone to talk to. Enter Darius Rocker her favorite singer, wanting to get to know her and help her through the hospital stay. He was very attentive towards Tammy, asking her how was she doing and if she was feeling okay. This was a man who wanted her well-being. Of course, she was immediately enamored. The bad thing is, Tammy didn't allow herself to heal from her breakup, nor analyze why she allowed her ex-husband to disrespect her for so long. And now here she is in another one. The relationship made Tammy feel better because they were experiencing similar difficulties. Tammy's mom died in 2018 and Darius lost his mom as well. A deep conversation that would have been better talked on the phone, but Darius would never accept a phone call, let alone video chat. Can I just say, Tammy is in the hospital and the scammers probably know she would have limited money to spend on them because of the hospital bill. They didn't care. They took her money knowing she will have no money left. And they call themselves Christians, by the way. They're called Yahoo boys by religious leaders who seem to condone their crimes. Many Yahoo boys, Yahoo girls, Yahoo man, Yahoo woman are going to make heaven. Sent me a picture and it had him ho holding a poster and it said, I love you, Tammy. This should be a meme by now. Instead of talking on a video call to prove he's for real, he decided to grab a piece of paper, put a pen on his toes, and write a message for Tammy. By the way, this is something that she mentions right at the end. Tammy watches Dr. Phil's catfish episodes. In plenty of them, we see similar patterns, like this one, for example. She fell for it. Sure, she needed someone to talk to, but your intuition and common sense don't just shut down once you're in love. You avoid common sense to continue feeling good, just for a little bit. He calls me boo, and I call him honey or baby. 
but he always called me boo. Another red flag, scammers won't talk to you by your name because they have so many victims, they can't possibly remember them all, so they use pet names like baby, my queen, my love, boo. Tammy finally was out of the hospital and Darius was expressing his love for her every day. Looking good. However, the relationship had to have limitations. Darius also got a divorce very recently and thought that being in a relationship so soon wouldn't look so good for the media. Also, he couldn't talk to her because his contract wouldn't allow him giving his personal information. Another completely illogical thing is that if she had written that down on a journal and read it out loud, maybe Tammy would have noticed something fishy. He said that his assets were all frozen and he needs to pay his attorney to finish his divorce and have his money released to him. This is where the money milking started. Tammy would buy Apple gift cards, scratch them and screenshot the code. But hey, every penny will be returned once his divorce is finalized. He was going to try to apply it for a loan to try to help me and help him. And I was gullible enough to do it. Tammy gave this man her social security number and credit card information. And then she says she was gullible enough to do it. Why? Because she doesn't really believe it's Darius she was talking to? Deep down, she knows exactly what's happening here. But she's hooked on a feeling. I can't stop this feeling. Deep inside of me. And of course, as the celebrity he is, he wanted Tammy to pay for everything. The creeper even knew when she would get paid, so there he was, ready to take that money from her hands. It got so intense that Tammy had to work extra hours because the boyfriend was expensive. Now I'm staying at my ex-husband's because I can't afford the deposit and first month's rent because I'm giving it to him. So thanks to Darius, she went back to the man who mistreated her close to two decades. But if we are being honest with ourselves, she made that happen. I understand the vulnerability factor, but there's a moment when you are drowning and nobody's lending you a hand. I guess for Tammy, this was a normal relationship. He's sitting next to his ex-wife. It was because his kids. He contradicts himself. He loves me, but we can't be together yet. It took me a quick Google search to know he and his wife split in 2020, and in that same year started dating a comedian. They lasted for like a year. So why did Darius tell Tammy their relationship should remain on the down low? Because he was cheating on his new girl with her? Or because this makes no sense? I think that's one of the reasons he's kept talking to me is I'm not somebody that's impressed by someone's money. Um, no ma'am, he targeted you because you most likely be impressed with the celebrity status and the money. Let's not erase this key factor. She was starstruck and wanted the dream to come true. Dating a celebrity equals your status is going to change and instead of great value, you will have the brand name. Darius was an investment. I pay for your problems so you can solve mine in a not so distant future. Tammy went to Social Catfish because she wanted to prove to her family that they were wrong. She wants everyone to know she did not make a mistake and she's going to live the dream with Darius Rucker. I don't know how the relationship is with her kids. Maybe they don't talk as much because they all have families with kids. But I bet there are plenty of conversations where they try to make her see the reality and she would just avoid confrontation or just remove herself from the conversation. Assumptions, of course. Plenty of families cut contact because of cases like this. Tammy told Darius she was willing to go see him at one of his concerts to finally see each other in person. But Darius will always reject that idea. So that's what the social catfish crew did. They all went to a concert and asked Tammy to talk to him at the same time. But the guy is good. He wouldn't answer the phone or he will be super vague about what he's doing, as if he's on stage or as if he knew the time the concert will start and finish. But still, there were moments where the real Darius Rocker will be on stage and talking to Tammy at the same time. Kind of impossible. Tammy claims is not 100% sure she's talking to Darius Rocker, but still kept sending money to the guy. She says it's because she didn't want him to find out she's been investigating him. Eh, I doubt it. And here comes another piece of horrible information. 
She's been receiving cash from him. Why horrible? Well, Tammy can be one of the many victims jailed and sometimes in prison because they become money mules. The scammers have a lot of victims being scammed, so they move that money using the victims. They become part of the scheme. Well, the crew showed how the picture Darius sent where he wrote I love you with his foot was a composition of three different pictures. And they also sent a gift card to him so they could track the money. And it all went, guess where? Nigeria. I've been working 60 hours a week since September. For a while, I was working seven days a week. There was another case where we saw the lady who preferred to give her money to a stranger than spend it on her granddaughter who depended on her. We're talking about victims, sure, but they're grown adults as well. Again, plenty of families have been dissolved because of issues like this. The victim prefers to be with their lover and disregard or even fight family members who are trying to protect them from themselves. I hope this was not Tammy's case, but the fact is she risked her future because of a man she met online. A man who wouldn't claim her as his partner. A man who kept asking for money while being rich and still working. Life gave Tammy a lot of insight, but she refused to see it. What do you think? My guess will be Tammy's self-esteem. She got married to a man her parents disliked, then realized they were right and got a divorce. She found another man and now it was her kids telling her he was no good for her. But again, she disregarded the good intentions. Maybe Tammy wants someone to call partner, no matter the quality of the relationship. And well, the celebrity part was exciting as well. Hopefully she got the help she needed, financially and emotionally, because if she doesn't change the pattern she has created for herself, she is doomed to repeat it again. Leave me your thoughts in the comments, I would love to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe to join the deception ship. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, it really helps. I hope you had a wonderful day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.